If you have a 3D print, but you're worried it will be too tall, here's what you can do. I want to print this wind chime today and I just know if I don't do anything to it, it's gonna fall over mid print and cause a huge mess. So there's two things I recommend. Find the support material tab in your print settings and locate the box that says enforce support for the first. This is going to add support material from the bottom of the print up until the layer you decide in this box. For me, I decided the 20th layer will stop with the supports. This will ultimately give me a solid base for the rest of the print. I can't emphasize how much knowing these little tricks help out because look, if you don't know how to enforce supports only to a certain limit, your print would take close to 18 hours. But when you know how to fine tune in a slicer, you can take it down close to four hours. Next, find the skirt and brim tab in your print settings and go down to the brim type. I do the outer brim only and the brim width, I just decided to do 10 millimeters. That seemed like enough. And then the separation gap, I always have it zero, meaning it's going to technically be attached to the bottom of the print. But that, in my opinion, provides more stability. I could be wrong. This is just how I do it, and it works for me. Three hours till the print is finished, and then we're going to mimic Category 5 Hurricane Winds. And I hope the time lapse turns out okay. The piece looks great. The time lapse looks great. So now we take it off the build plate remove the support material at the bottom, give it a little heat gun action to congeal all the layers. And now I need to figure out how I'm gonna hold the device whenever I put the leaf blower on it. And you know, I had three hours to think about it. So I think I came up with something that will work. I'm gonna utilize fishing line and there's already a hook at the top, but for the bottom, I'm gonna drill the hole all the way through and then cut off part of a pen cap and poke it through. And that way I can pull from the top and bottom, make sure it's taut and then just put the leaf blower on it. So without further ado, category five wins. Let's see if the 3D print holds up. It works exactly as intended. Here it is with a little better background. I used fishing line because I knew it could twist a bunch, but it turns out it actually broke. So the best way to do this would to be put a metal rod through it and have ball bearings at either side. But this video was about stabilizing your prints by using enforced supports and a brim. So thank you for watching and check out my other 3D printing videos.